Hey YouTube, Drone Tech here yet again to deal with more ridiculous shit from CNN. As is typically the case, CNN won't back down and instead they're trying to rewrite history and cast themselves as, get ready for it, Russian collusion skeptics who thought the investigation was going nowhere. Yes, really. If you attempt to obstruct, that's something that we want to look at. Oh I'm not my saying god, now we have an attempt to obstruct a non-crime. Exactly. But besides the fact that there was no crime, there is zero evidence that firing Comey obstructed any investigation at all. First of all, Comey admitted that the investigation was never hindered due to his firing. And then the interim FBI director, Chris Wray, said, quote, he had not detected any whiff of interference by the White House. What the hell? Mueller had 675 days. 500 plus witness interviews, 500 search warrants, 2,800 subpoenas, 19 lawyers, 40 FBI agents, $25.2 million spent, and still completed the investigation concluding that there was no collusion. Those numbers highly suggest that there was no obstruction of this investigation. Why is it we never heard that word obstruction when Democrats wanted to fire Comey over the Hillary investigation? Most notably, Democrat Rep Jerry Nadler, who is currently making his rounds on all the networks screaming about obstruction. The problem for Nadler is that during the Obama administration, he actually went on CNN and called for Obama to fire Comey because of the Hillary investigation. People in the FBI who were leaking through Rudy Giuliani, uh, through former agents or not, that was also clearly illegal. The president ought to fire Comey immediately and he ought to in initiate an investigation. Can't just fire Comey. Oh yes, he can. Apparently, it's only obstruction if a Republican does it, and then it's totally cool when Democrats do it. Before we talk about obstruction, there was apologize for the overreaction and collusion. Not a chance. Well, of course you're not. Not a chance. Chris Cuomo, Don Lemon, nor any of these other DNC propagandists in the media will ever apologize. They live in a bubble where they're never wrong, and no information that conflicts with their narratives can ever penetrate. This is precisely why we keep seeing these stories blow up in their faces. Chris Cuomo and those like him are protected by the fact that they control the flow and the spin on all the information that goes out to the public. But in the media outside of Fox is going to make an issue of it because they're all guilty. Fortunately, there's not really anybody out there to hold the fake news media accountable for the damage that they do to this country with their partisan lies. Sure, Fox News can demand apologies and hold them accountable all day long, but the fact is that the rest of the media will always cast Fox News as fringe extremists that should be ignored. My case. Apologize. Never. Here's my case. Never? Never. I didn't do anything wrong. He's Chris Cuomo says he did nothing wrong. There's tons of proof of potential collusion. How about when you got into it with Congressman Peter King and accused him of being deceptive and attempting to quote, sabotage the investigation by bringing up the complete lack of evidence regarding obstruction or collusion. How about when you got into it with Jim Jordan and you claimed to have quote, tons of proof of collusion and that saying otherwise was quote, demonstrably false. Aren't you the same guy who said that it was illegal for people to read WikiLeaks and that they should come to CNN to find out what's in them? It's illegal to possess. Uh, these stolen documents. It's different for the media. So everything you learn about this, you're learning from us. You're a liar and a hack and you should be selling suits or timeshares or something. Doesn't matter what the facts are. It doesn't matter that the report concludes that there was no collusion. Cuomo has a partisan political belief and nothing outside of full blown deprogramming will ever change his mind. The fact is he can never admit that he's wrong. None of these people can ever admit that they're wrong because their credibility will go down the tubes. Of course, they already have no credibility with people like us, but believe it or not, there's still a lot of people out there that believe what they say. Who is in the record what do you mean and let not, them decide. What do you mean he wasn't falsely accused? He did a pattern of things that triggered the curiosity and concern of a lifelong prosecutor, Rod Rosenstein. Again, this entire thing was based on the Steele dossier, which was opposition research gathered by foreign agents and paid for by Hillary Clinton. And if he's going to credit Rod Rosenstein for starting this whole investigation, will he also credit Rod Rosenstein for telling Trump to fire Comey? Seeing as how obstruction is your new narrative, it seems like that little detail might be important. <laughs> it is downright maddening watching these fools continue to operate in CNN's alternate reality. Picking and choosing which facts he'll choose to present and which facts he'll choose to bury. Now, I've said it, you said it, and I said it. I'm very tough on this president, but I have said, look, if you think at the end of the day this president's going to be let out of the White House in handcuffs in an orange jumpsuit, then you're sadly mistaken. And I can't tell you how many people would say that this is really going to get him. And I would say, mm, I don't think so. If you want him out, you got to vote him out. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Really? You're really gonna try and pull Jedi mind tricks on us? At no point in the last two years has CNN ever hinted that Trump wasn't going to be removed from office. CNN's entire brand is based on the hope that Trump will be removed from office for colluding with Russia. There are countless montages out there showing CNN and the rest of the media constantly insisting that Trump was about to go down in flames. I could go on and on and on with this video. We all know they're liars. We all know that they're political operatives. But watching them execute the same damage control strategy after every fake story should close the case on whether or not CNN is a legitimate news source. They aren't. Turn them off. And let me continue to be your meat shield. And by the way, if you want me to continue pumping out content, I need your support. Please consider investing into this channel through PayPal, Patreon, or Subscribestar. You can also purchase my t-shirts on Teespring. If you don't see anything you like, keep checking back because we're working on some new designs. Please like, share, subscribe, and keep coming back. Thank you.